It's 7 a.m. at the Strait of Messina. It looks just like a normal stretch of the Mediterranean, except for the boats with the towering masts with people perched atop. Someone also appears to be floating across the water, standing on an arm stretched far out in front. These vessels are called feluccas, fishing boats invented in ancient Greece, which have been specially redesigned for hunting swordfish. The people up in the lookouts 27 meters above sea level navigate the boat and spot prey. Climbing up there is difficult and dangerous with no safety harness. The harpoonist makes his way to the front of the boom. Once the helmsman is in place, the feluca can begin the hunt for highly coveted swordfish. Giuseppe is a veteran swordfish hunter here on the Strait of Messina. The crew that he's joining today are all friends of his, and he's expecting a good haul. The fish come really near to the coast at the moment. It's the right season. Now it's just up to the helmsman and the harpoonist to do their jobs. Today, each felucca has a hunting ground covering two sea miles. The trick is to steer so that the harpoonist is situated directly above the fish. They swim here in shallow coastal waters just below the surface, but only for a minute or two. So the harpoonist has to strike quickly before they vanish. Giuseppe has gone out with this particular fishing boat many times. She's called Patriarca Seconda. Marco, Giovanni and Camilla will be in the control tower, keeping lookout for several hours. The final preparations are underway down on deck, such as fitting the ropes for the harpoon. And then it's all go. The harpoonist, aptly named Fortunato, was certainly fortunate this time. There was no escape for the fish. The five-prong harpoon plunged deep into the swordfish. This is an extremely dangerous moment for the men. The creature battles to defend itself, and the spear of a swordfish can cause serious injury. It takes all our collective strength to restrain the fish, otherwise it can jump. We do this until it loses all its energy and dies. Fortunato is already back at his post. He strikes another fish a few hundred meters from the beach. But up in the lookout, they're not happy. The swordfish hasn't been struck properly, and it's pulling on the line with all its strength. It's going to take a long time to reel it in. The animal tries to dive back down. To drain the fish's strength, you have to keep releasing the line and then reeling it back in again. This one is refusing to give up the fight. But in the end, the men's brute strength wins through. The swordfish is marked, so it's clear at the fish market that it was caught by hand and not fished commercially. We don't fish, we hunt. There's no net and no hooks, just a harpoon. When you see the fish, you need to have lightning-fast reactions, just like a hunter with his shotgun. Fortunato isn't always lucky. Today there are fish, but for many years the number of swordfish in the Mediterranean has been declining, forcing many people in Messina to give up traditional hunting long ago. How can a fishing boat like this with a crew make money? The costs are often higher than the return. It's really not worth the effort anymore if there's no profit. There used to be dozens of feluccas plying the strait between Sicily and Calabria during the summer hunting season. 
Now most of them are sitting on dry land, including Giuseppe's feluca. Giuseppe didn't stand a chance against the trawlers with their commercial fishing equipment. Swordfish hunters like him have no lobby in Italy anymore. Giuseppe wants to scrap his boat now. It means he'll get a payout from the government in Rome. It's of little interest to them that this custom in the Mediterranean is dying out. Swordfish hunting has been providing food and work for centuries, as well as a sense of tradition and identity, which is now sadly under threat here in Messina.